Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan. Well guys, in this video I am going to teach you how to write causes and effect or causes and solution essay. This is the type and this is also a common type causes and solution or causes and effect cause and effect we also call it. So in this video I'm going to teach you how to write this essay and how to write strong sentence structures to grab 7 plus band from the examiner. If you are new to my channel please consider sub subscribing this channel right. Now let's go on to the book and there I'm going to evaluate the essay. I'm going to read the essay for you and I'm going to tell you how many paragraphs you should write, what sort of vocabulary should be used. So very, very deeply I am going to evaluate this essay and by the way if you observe carefully you can write good essay as well. Let's take a start. Okay, so the essay type as I told you causes and effects or causes and solutions. Rural depopulation that's the topic. Uh, these days it seems that an increasing number of people are leaving rural areas to live in the city. Okay, so this is very common. We also call it urbanization. Discuss some of the effects of rural depopulation means migration from the country to the city. Rural depopulation or we also call it urbanization. And suggest some ways on which this trend could be reversed effects and suggest some ways. So it's basically you need to just write some of the causes or effects and then the solution to that. So let's go on uh, with the Ben 7 essay. Right. While country towns were once vibrant, country towns were once vibrant and growing places, these days many appear to be dying country towns means the villages and town. This country doesn't mean country as Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka. This country means village. While country towns mean the villages were once vibrant and growing places. These days many appear to be dying as people move to the city in search of work and excitement. This is a general sentence about the topic and by the way this general sentence is about a trend. In this essay I intend to discuss the impact for influence is using the word impact. The impact of this problem, this problem means the problem which is explained here as well as how more people could be encouraged to live in the rural areas means the solution to that. right? Okay, now see it starts with a strong adverb. Surprisingly, the most serious consequences of rural depopulation are often felt in urban areas. As a result of overcrowding, cities throughout the world today are increasing uh, prone to environment problems like air. Alright, cities throughout the world today are increasing prone. It should be increasingly prone to think there is a mistake here are increasingly prone to environment problems like air, water and noise pollution. Beijing is a particularly good example. See now global example. Beijing is a particularly good example of this. Further, the uncontrolled growth of cities also give rise to social problems such as high unemployment crime and in less affluent countries the creation of slums. Less affluent means less rich and slums are the dwellings where people live under the poverty level and there are no facilities in slums. Right? They are just like you know uh, some very very bad houses uh, and they are not capable of living but still people live there. Clearly there is a limit to how many people can live in one area before living standards are negatively influenced. Now, in order to stem the tide of rural depopulation, in order to stem means in order to control, this is very good vocabulary. In order to stem the tide of rural depopulation, I believe we must first address its root causes. At the heart of the matter is the disparity between services 
and facilities in the country and those in the city. Country means village. I firmly believe that urban and rural dwellers alike would find the idea of country life far more appealing if high quality shopping centers, cinemas, swimming pools, restaurants, libraries, schools and hospitals were more readily available in the country, in the village. One further method of attracting people to the country would be for government to provide financial incentives to businesses, uh, to business and professional workers who willing relocate to rural areas, who are willing, again there is a mistake, who are willing, uh, okay willingly that is correct, who willingly relocate that is fine. Workers who willingly relocate to rural areas. In reality, this problem is unlikely to be resolved in the short term. However, it is by no means insurmountable, difficult to solve. It is by no means insurmountable and I am convinced that more people will choose the country as city life becomes less comfortable and more expensive. So very good conclusion. Okay guys, now let's just take a look at the sentence structure and we see what type of sentences are there. Surprisingly, a very good start. The most serious consequences of rural depopulation are often felt in urban areas. As a result of overcrowding, as a result of cities throughout the world today are increasing prone in, uh, are increasingly prone to environment problems, increasingly, like air, water and noise pollution. Sentence 3. Further, the uncontrolled growth of cities also gives rise to social problems such as high unemployment, crime and in less affluent countries, the creation of slums. Next, uh, for bench 7, in order to stem the tide, uh, tide of rural depopulation, I believe we must, so in order to stem, you can use this and then the problem of the topic. I believe we must, you can copy this as well. First address its root causes, you can write it as it is. Okay, next at the heart of the matter is the, you can write this phrase. At the heart of the matter is the and then whatever topic. Disparity between services and facilities in the country and those in the city. Alright, one further method of attracting people, one further method of attracting people to the country would be for government to provide financial incentives to business and professional workers who willingly relocate to rural areas, right? Now, let's just go through the vocabulary. Basic is today and actually it should be these days. These days is fine, nowadays is fine. Affect or effect, instead of that you can write influence or consequence or impact is the best word. For country, country is basic and in this essay, they use the word country at many places. So you can write rural area. Opposite for city is urban area. Urban is city, rural is country or village. Cause lead to or give rise to. Give rise to means it causes. For poorer, you can write the word less affluent. Affluent means rich. For feel or believe, you can write convinced. I am convinced. B means is MR in present, was, were, in past and all that. Resolve, address the issue. Resolve the issue, address the issue. Attractive, appealing. Subsidize means to give some sort of facilities. Uh, provide financial incentives. And for move, relocate is the best word. Right? So this is how you guys can write good essays. Please observe and absorb and then write accordingly. Welcome back. Guys, now you know how to write causes and effect or causes and solution essay and now you know how many paragraphs you have to write, what sort of words should be written for 7 band and what sort of words must be avoided to get 7 band from the examiner. If you like this video hit the like button 
and subscribe my channel you can comment this video as well to tell me if there is any further requirement you can request me and i can make videos upon your request as well i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online arts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub wishes you all the best take care allah hafiz